this lecture we'll learn about what exactly is football analytics and this is introduction this is a small and brief introduction to it so let's dive into it first of all football analytics uh, you might have heard it through different sources read it on social media uh, or you know come across it while talking to your friends just discussing it everywhere there are numbers these days right but just the numbers do not constitute analytics and all those numbers that you see that you debate on or uh, people post it post match or on social media or anywhere uh, you see these stats that is just the performance aspect of it so <clears throat> uh, football analytics or analytics in football is not just limited to performance uh, measurement it's also used across different verticals inside the industry itself right so the first one is obviously performance it is a huge chunk of football analytics where you will have you will find data as simple as how many goals were scored in a match or what is the standing stable of a league right so that also comes under football analytics and as detailed as whether at a particular given second in a match which team or which player you know pressed or put pressure on the opponents or what is the space at this given moment in the field where is the space who is playing wide who is playing narrow that it goes on into that detail into the performance analytics right so that is a huge aspect of it and most of it uh, most of uh, football analytics uh, covers or falls under the performance uh, umbrella but there are certain other uh, areas in football in the football industry itself where analytics is used may it may again like performance be a very small uh, factor or it may be a very large factor right so mainly we have federations media and in broadcasting this is the second most uh, area or umbrella where analytics is used for betterment right so federations use it first of all to keep track of everything just to create a database it started with that that you know even a simple lineup comes under analytics because it is collection of data right so analytics uh, per se is not just about uh, putting uh, you know outputting numbers or patterns or anything it is also about collecting data what kind of data you collect right so lineups even as simple as writing down lineups how many minutes each player played how many goals how many assists yellow cards red cards that is the simplest form of uh, you know data that federations keep or even media used to keep but now this has blown up and they are getting in, getting much more involved but even if they don't do not want to analyze the performance at a very deep level they need or they want some level of uh, you know advanced analytics done so that they know whether take a federation for example uh, if you say the english fa they also keep track of the english players how much are they doing who is going to who is going to be there so national teams fall under federation national teams have analysts and so on and so forth even the media nowadays is not stuck to only you know saying that this player played well or this player did not they uh, adopted the rating system right they adopted uh, different kinds of statistics even defensive statistics which were not earlier you know uh, glamorous to consider in the media or to put out in the media even those things are now being put up in the media <clears throat> and broad broadcasting of course have uh, now adopted xg in their vocabulary they talk about xg uh, they have come up with uh, so they went from just two three experts talking about football uh, to now two three experts talking about football with the help of analytical tools right be it a screen where they draw circles and arrows to show what is going on or be it the adoption of xg talking in terms of expected goals and other models space and patterns and so on and so forth right another bubble or umbrella is that the betting and the fan engagement uh, you know sector so fan engagement essentially is uh, the basic need is to fill the stadiums and how to uh, you know go about that so they adopt social media strategies 
So it does not have to be numbers. It can be text analysis that uh, whether the sentiment towards our club on social media is positive or negative, whether the sentiment towards the federation is positive, negative, and so on and so forth. Right. So everyone, every uh, you know area inside football is now <clears throat> adopting analytics more and more. So this is in general all the uh, you know different areas where uh, analytics is being used in football. It's not just limited to performance, right? So this is a very interesting fact. Even uh, betting industries, uh, people who set the odds uh, for each match, they also use uh, algorithms now and pattern recognition systems to come up with odds, right? Earlier it used to be manual work. It was still mathematical, but a person used to do it. Now an algorithm does it. It's the same as earlier people used to trade stocks. Now algorithms have also come into trading stocks, right? So it's it's a fast paced world and the betting industry has kept up with it. Now moving on to, uh, you know, simply let's see which clubs uh, use this. In Europe, mostly there are a lot of clubs who use it, but you know, at uh, these clubs use it at a maximum level, even Manchester United also does it. Uh, Liverpool, Barcelona, Bayern Munich, Arsenal, even Arsenal does it. Uh, Manchester City do it and many many clubs these are just the top ones even uh, the championship division in England that is the division 2 in England they also have adopted to some level of analytics even the uh, league 1 and league 2 that is the third and fourth division also have it German Bundesliga 2 also have teams have it so everyone is tying up with either one person or a research lab or a company or they themselves have an in-house team but everyone uh, has come to the conclusion that analytics is unavoidable right <clears throat> so most i would say it's it will not uh, replace coaches ever in my opinion it is just uh, like another coaching team added to your added to the club's uh, particular you know dynamic right even in isl uh, clubs use uh, analytics at different levels some le some people some clubs might use just you know the <clears throat> video analytics while others also are delving into data analytics and you know moving on in the direction of european clubs with the help of european clubs also with the tie-ups like fc goa has tied up with leipzig and so on uh, Bengaluru FC has tied up with Rangers Sid Mumbai City now has a tie up with Manchester City so all of these tie ups also help in uh, you know bring in this mentality that this is needed okay so everyone is coming up and adopting it even at uh, so in the I league level also people want to do this but uh, budget issues sometimes they just do a little video analysis and sometimes you know they might take help of uh, data a little but it will take time because data analysis and setting up a uh, you know analytical team takes up a lot of capital which you know is difficult for every club to come up with so at some level or the other everyone is you know coming up with or going into analytics and there are many more such clubs which uh, you know are adopting it so this uh, it's extremely interesting and important to you know have more and more people learn about football analytics and uh, you know come up with come up in the industry and help out the clubs uh, you know grow and grow with the clubs and grow yourself also right. so that's it for like this lecture i'll see you in the next one